Hey, welcome all. Welcome to the deep learning demonstration today. I'm going to be joined by Tim Seymour, who is our senior applications engineer. Hello, Tim. How are you? Good, thanks. Very good, very good. So deep learning is uh, certainly the technology for the future. It's uh, resonating quite well with our customers. So what is this deep learning all about? We'll ask the expert. Hey, Tim, what is deep learning? Deep learning is a form of artificial intelligence. We use learn from images that have been classified or sorted and then are able to continue to sort new images. Oh, that's great, Tim. So, Tim, where do you see deep learning being used in your current applications? Can you give me some examples? Well, with deep learning, it's a game changer. We can enable programmable SIC devices to take image classification decisions that are difficult to automate. For, this is, for example, in the case of sorting inspection of naturally grown products. Okay, very good. So, in your uh, traditional uh, uh, machine learning approach, Tim, so you, I have seen you spend a lot of time in extracting the feature of the images, trying to automate with the different tools that's available. How does deep learning change that? Deep learning can do all of that in an automated way, rather than having to manually go through thousands of images to try and find the anomalies and the discrepancies. Deep learning does all of that for us in a very streamlined and fast, efficient way. Oh, that's excellent, Tim. So my last question to you is, uh, in your experience, uh, is deep learning ready for the prime time? Yes, deep learning is a, um, a mature product now. The process is all in place to take the images and develop the algorithms and then apply them in real world situations. Oh, thank you, Tim. That's excellent. Okay, so what we have today is we're going to show a live demonstration of how uh, deep learning can be used in a simple inspection, inspection process. Uh, I have a few samples of uh, readily available burger buns. Uh, some of the buns are fresh, and some of the buns are burnt, and uh, some of the buns are white, and some of the buns are uh, based out of wheat. So there's different uh, combinations of color, texture, contrast of these buns. So how do we use deep learning? What we're going to do now is we're going to see our uh, live demonstration of our deep learning um, cloud uh, offering. So what you're seeing is our DStudio, which is the deep learning uh, cloud services. Uh, the access to the deep learning cloud services is through uh, your SIC ID. This is the same uh, username and password that you would use to log into our e-commerce store. Uh, please talk to our uh, sales representatives to get access to this. Uh, we are offering a limited free of charge uh, usage of the deep learning studio. The Deep Learning Studio runs on Amazon Web Services Cloud, so we have access to uh, a large amount of computing and uh, memory resources to run deep learning training models. So once you once you log into the Deep D Studio Deep Learning, um, you get into uh, the project overview. In the project overview, uh, you have a number of different options, which is uh, the data sets. Uh, I will talk about the data sets. Uh, then there is uh, projects which you can uh, name and rename projects. Uh, then the actual part of the training, uh, evaluation, and some description on uh, the deployment. So the data sets. So I have created a various data sets. The data set that we're going to look at is uh, the buns. Uh, this is the uh, one that you just saw uh, with me and uh, Tim uh, explaining the deep learning concepts. So in the buns, because I've already created, I have about five classes. Um, each of the five classes represents a category of the buns that you may want to cl classify. Uh, for example, I have uh, buns that, uh, that is marked as good. Uh, in this example, I have one bun that is in front of the camera, which is marked good. So I have 59 of those images. Likewise, I have uh, different types of classes. I have, uh, I have a class where there are four buns in front of the camera where three of them is marked as bad and one is marked as good. So likewise, you can have as many classes as possible. Uh, the only uh, challenge is uh, you need to overcome the issue of underfitting and overfitting the data. 
underfitting the data means you are not supplying enough number of sample set for the deep learning to learn itself. Overfitting is you are providing more than enough data for the uh, for for the, for the deep learning. Okay, so you now created the classes. Uh, so then we go into the project area. In the project area, what we can do is uh, we can select the data sets that we have uh, just created and uh, select the classification uh, type. Uh, so for example, in the buns classification I just created, so I can go into uh, uh, the project called as the buns. The data set is also called as the buns and I used a medium uh, uh, RGB classification network. So uh, we, can, we can have multiple classification networks uh, depending upon uh, the type of camera and the infrastructure that you may have to classify. For example, I will try to create a new classification network. Uh, so we have, uh, because the buns have the property of the RGB property, the color property, uh, so it gives you the examples of uh, uh, a small network, which is uh, a two uh, node-based neural network. Uh, we have a medium network, which is uh, three, and then a large network, which is uh, four. So explaining uh, the classific classification network, uh, we have three options for RGB, which is the small, medium, and large. Uh, the small uh, network is based on uh, two neural nodes. Uh, medium is three, and large is uh, four plus. We also provide some uh, benchmarking time, uh, which is very important for you to consider what type of network that you may want to use. For example, if you have to make faster decision, you may go with a smaller RGB network. While if you are more concerned about the accuracy of your prediction, then you would use a larger network. So this is, uh, uh, this is an area where uh, SIG would provide some advisory around picking up the uh, right network. Okay, so once uh, we did the network, uh, so we can go into the, the training part. Um, I have already done the training uh, for, uh, uh, for the buns. Uh, so the training took about uh, three hours and 49 minutes. Yeah, and uh, it used uh, about uh, 1,200 steps or so, which is uh, regress regression through uh, 1,200 different images. Uh, and we were able to get to 100% accuracy. Um, so the model that we created uh, uh, seems to work really well. Uh, so once the training is finished, because this training is finished, we can go and look at the evaluation. Uh, the evaluation part uh, gives you a, a metrics of options. So on the, uh, on the x-axis and y-axis, uh, you have uh, the, on the x-axis, you have the prediction on the y-axis, you have the uh, truth set. Uh, I have five different classes, and all of uh, the uh, training data that I provided uh, classified correctly. Um, so you can overlay on top of the uh, uh, top of the data, and it should give you the images that was uh, passed correctly or marked correctly. So uh, you could see here all of the. Uh, Buns that was marked good uh, did come across good, so I didn't have. So if if the network is uh, uh, say ninety nine percent accurate, you would have one of the buns not classified correctly. So that's how uh, you would know uh, how how strong your neural network or the deep learning network is. So once you finish uh, the evaluation, you are satisfied with the evaluation. Uh, you can go to the deployment phase. But if you're not satisfied with the evaluation, you can go back to any of the phase. You can start uh, in the project phase, for example, and select a different type of network. Or you can even go back to the data set and start uh, uh, reclassifying some of the data that you have. Or you can run the training model again. So you have uh, various options uh, uh, as a feedback and a feed, feed forward system with respect, to, uh, with respect to getting the right model for the application. Moving on, so let's look at the uh, deployment. Um, it's a very simple deployment tool. Uh, we also provide a small uh, code a snip set, uh, snippet of uh, uh, the deployment itself. Uh, this code snippet would uh, run, into, run in any of, of the app space supported uh, deep learning products, such as uh, uh, two-dimensional inspector camera or our sensor integration machines, which has the deep, deep uh, learning. Uh, algorithms built in. 
so the getting the model is the one click away. Um, you have an option to uh, download a trial model or you have an option to purchase. Again, uh, since uh, you are uh, uh, invited to participate in the deep learning uh, offering, uh, we would offer you a trial uh, download option. So again, please speak to our sales team to get access to deep learning and if you think it's the right tool for you.